So a new patch for Timberborn Experimental just dropped, and with it come some very nice changes and a new building or two. It's got a double shower for keeping your fern nice and wet, a new look for the number cruncher, a whole new migration system which I still need to wrap my head around, but most importantly, the long awaited and much requested gravity battery. Yes, we finally have a way to store some extra power for use when those water wheels stop turning or those poor beaver legs just, just had enough. So how do they work? Well, when charged, the gravity battery will output to the power network depending on demand. There's no power transfer limit, so if your network demands over a thousand horsepower, it can provide it until it's empty. It can be charged by any power generating source, be it foot, water, wind or engines, and only takes excess power from the system, meaning if you build something like two gear workshops, which needs 240 horsepower in total, and it's running from five power wheels, an extra 10 horsepower will go into the gravity battery and not slow down your production. Very useful. When built on ground level, they can store 4,000 horsepower hours, but the real magic comes when you place them over an edge. Find somewhere where you can allow the ballast to drop lower than the base, and then they gain extra power storage, getting 2,000 horsepower hours per tile drop. This will lead to some very interesting designs, I think. 